Hello, everyone, and happy Sabbath to all of you out there. Uh, this is Week in Review. We like to come to you every week to fulfill the new viewership with information about our ministry. Otherwise, they won't know much about us. So welcome to all the new viewers today, and happy to be with all of you. And Sheila, welcome. Welcome, Gannon. We missed you. Thank you, thank you. Glad you're well. I missed you guys, too. This is second home to me, and uh, mm. it's good to be back. Uh, sadly, though, Marlon is out this week, and mm. not with COVID, but unfortunately, unfortunately and tragically, uh, he lost his brother, and he's dealing uh, with that matter this week. So we need to keep the Paley family in yes. our prayers. Before we go any further, we have uh, sponsors, uh, this Sabbath sponsors, which of course, we have sponsors all throughout the week, but we can only highlight the Sabbath sponsors. Sheila, who do we have? Yes, we have the Matthews family from California, the Nichols family from Massachusetts, the Pina family from Rhode Island, and the Cruz family from Connecticut. God bless you and thank you so much for your generosity and blessing this hour with your um, gifts. And God bless you indeed. It's your givings along with all the other donors that keep this ministry on the air to bless hundreds of thousands and millions around the world. That's right, that's right. Sheila, we have verse of the day. Who requested verse? This verse this week. Well, someone very special and close to my heart. Can you share that name with us? Yes, Steve Hodgkin. Oh, your husband. All right. Yes. This has been a very special verse to him. It's from 1 Peter 5.10. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Hmm. You know, that's, that's an interesting verse, and I'm, and I'm sure he picked that based on his own experience, mm -hmm. the struggle that he went through, and he's still going through with his health. But in spite of all things, God is there with him throughout the process, and God went through us all throughout the process. Yes. Someone asked me, he said, Canem, if we are believers in God, why <laughs> does he allow us to get sick? Why does he allow us to lose loved ones. As a matter of fact, the same person said, how can you get sick? You serve LLVN. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, 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 no. On the contrary, uh, the, the laws of physics, the world we live in, a lot of it results of, of the first sin. And the laws will not change because of me or you or someone else. You know, you have to face the reality. We have to go through the cycle of life there's going to be trouble. There's going to be illness. You're going to lose loved ones. I mean, I've gone through all that. I've lost two brothers, a sister-in-law. Uh, I've lost my parents, uh, my dad at age five. Uh, my daughter got severely sick uh, just last year. But through God's time, all things work out. It works out, and I think we have to, to know that it's really the result of the enemy, Satan. Of course, of course. I think he causes all these things, but God gives us, um, he's with us, gives us victory, and we just have to rely on what he did for us on the cross. Amen. Mm -hmm. one, one thing I have experienced in my life, when I become ill, God has created the ability for my body to fight illness. Mm -hmm. And through due process and time, we recover, Right. Mm -hmm. And I think the trouble of lives are the same way. God has his blessings, his laws, supernatural laws around us that we go through things, but God working on it, mm -hmm. working on us, working mm -hmm. on all the environment, whatever it mm -hmm. might be, and he gets us through it. Mm -hmm. And we go on with life, just like illness. We all heal from the flu and other sicknesses. So um, we just, I think, have to be patient. We cannot be discouraged Everyone's subject to sickness, everyone's subject to losses, everyone's subject to pain and agony. As a matter of fact, that verse you just read, mm. uh, I had looked it up earlier here, and in, in verse 9, to your point, Sheila, it says, um, actually, let me read verse 8 and 9. It says, be clear-headed, keep alert. Your accuser, the devil, is on the prowl like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. And then verse 9 goes on, 
Resist him, standing firm in faith. Do so in the knowledge that your fellow believers are enduring same suffering throughout the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're not alone. Uh, this is old news, you know, mm -hmm. from, from 2,000 years ago. So that's just a cycle of life. So I think we just have to have courage and hope and trust in God, and, and we'll make it through every cycle. Amen. And he's with you all the way. And I, I believe in, you know, when we ask God, he, he can send his supernatural power to absolutely give us the strength and, and power to heal. And, and someone may argue with me and says, well, God can heal people instantly. And I agree. Mm -hmm. Where God chooses to, he can perform. He's absolutely powerful and mighty that he can. Yes. And, and I believe there have been a lot of illnesses uh, that I've heard so many stories where people were like healed instantly. Yes, amen. You well, know, he's the, the same day. yesterday, today, and forever. That's correct. So and let's not forget, he's a supernatural God. He is. And his ways are higher than our ways. We don't understand. We only see the natural. Exactly. But exactly. God, um, you know, we still need to learn more about him and he will un reveal himself. Well, Once we get to know one more. And that's why Ila Alabian is here. Mm -hmm. To bring the word of God, to learn and understand who's our creator, to build relationship with him. And together as, as God's family, we nurture one another and help each other in fellowship to go through difficult times. So that's right. praise God and thank God for, the, for all of you who receive the word of God and live in accordance to the word of God and the and, uh, and we're fortunate here to be part of this ministry, Sheila. Amen. Where we can oh, it is. share his word on a daily basis. It's such a blessing. And it's a blessing to see God's supernatural powers work in this ministry itself. Amen. You know, so. Absolutely. And it's through um, God, the Holy Spirit, that he speaks through all our viewers, too. Because mm -hmm. um, that's what sustains this ministry as well. We want to get the good news out there. And we thank you for sharing um, your gifts with this ministry. Amen. And you know, you hear about all the bad news on the news. That's all they give you. But no one shares the good news. God is good news. Mm -hmm. God is the light. And those of us who believe in him, we don't get moved by the news. We get moved by the word of God. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. I so like no matter that. what the circumstances are, you know the truth of who God is. And he is a good God. Amen. Amen. Uh, in the interest of time, we'll, we'll again, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, welcome again, and uh, we'll do this weekly. Uh, but uh, make sure to send us your Bible verse. Uh, they're stacking up now. Uh, mm -hmm. So next week we'll start enrolling uh, some of the newer ones. Yes. Just send your, 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 your email, your verse to info at llbn.tv or simply use the traditional uh, postal service uh, to send us your favorite verse. You don't have to write it. If you just outline what it is and what version, uh, we'll be happy to uh, share it on the air. Uh, Sheila, um, CC, this weekend, there's one last chance, Christian Connections, to play this Sabbath at 1.30 p.m. Who did we have? Yes, uh, Jonathan Park. And he is the president of the Southeastern California Conference. And his sermon was the greatest tada. Mm. <laughs> You're going to enjoy that. If you missed it, you know, keep on watching. You'll, you'll get a blessing. And we had wonderful music from um, Zoe Toe on the piano and William Abel, who played the French horn. It was really a, a blessed Christian Connections. You won't want to miss it. It was a good program. Then how about next week, next Tuesday? What well, do we have? Well, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're going to have um, Pastor Borda. And music will be provided by Josiane Bailey, and she is very talented. It's going to be piano, cello, and violin music. So mm. looking look forward, forward to, to that. Yes. Uh, then Friday night worship. Uh, there's one last chance, uh, again, to play this Friday at 1.30. But next uh, Friday, every Friday, we have live worship here on LLBN. Uh, join us live and be blessed by Pastor Dan Smith and his wonderful, never-ending sermons. Okay, uh, web resources. Sheila, uh, we keep adding things to our web. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, 
the web is loaded with resources free, accessible to you. You don't have to sign up or subscribe. It's available to the public. Uh, you can get all our channels watched live through the web. Uh, you can watch any videos you want archives per channel by simply selecting the channel from the homepage and you'll find out an archive, a beautiful list of programs uh, on each channel page. Uh, but also we have a Bible. Uh, you can listen to the Bible word by word. Just click on it. It's on the homepage and listen to the, to the Bible. Or of course, we have the traditional hymnal music mm -hmm. on, the, on the homepage as well. Hours and hours of it. So it's yours. If you have discovered it, send it to a friend. Share it with someone to bless him with uh, what's available on the web. Uh, Sheila, then uh, mobile apps. How could people get the mobile apps, whether Android or iPhone? Well, you just go to your apps, and you can download LLBN. And it's a wonderful resource. You have it right on your phone, your tablet. And you can, um, like Ganem said, you could see everything being organized in there and you can watch all the wonderful church services and be blessed and he you know hate to repeat myself but you could hear the wonderful music and scripture as well it's it's beautiful <laughs> it's all there for you folks simple yeah very simple the llbn you download the app but of course you have uh, the tv apps also on apple where it just put it llbn and you will also enjoy it on apple tv and roku um I'm going to talk about our health channel. Our lifestyle and health channel is going under complete rebuild and development, new programs. It's going HD here in a matter of a few weeks. Uh, we're a little bit behind on that, on that task, but so much going on, so much going on. So we have to establish our priorities and timelines. But we're excited now with Smart Lifestyle TV will become HD in a matter of weeks. All mm -hmm. new programs, some old programs. So... Uh, you can get it off the same mobile app or off the web. Uh, and we're excited about that and the great accomplishment of our workers and volunteers. And big, big, always, always big thank you to Daryl Mandel. Uh, this man is so special and so helpful on many, many fronts. Thank you, Daryl. Okay, last, uh, our ministry needs, folks. We are like a church except we are a church on the go 24-7. Our doors doesn't close. Uh, we're always on the air. So uh, uh, we need your help and support. Sheila can tell you ways you can give. Uh, Sheila? Well, they can give through snail mail, which is there's an address on the bottom of the page. Um, there's also the charitable remainder unit trusts. If you need any information on that, you know, talk to Jay Hughes. And... There's just so many ways, um, even just, pr just praying for us, that makes all the difference. So nothing is too small, nothing's too big uh, for you to share in the ministry. Um, getting the good news out there, it is more important than ever Amen. that people hear the wonderful good news of Jesus. Amen. And then also another way you can give, our phone lines are open uh, uh, 12 hours a day. Um, so make sure you can call, uh, you can call the toll-free number on the screen and operators will speak with you and you can make a one-time or recurrent donation as well. Well, as the Bible says, throw all your anxiety onto him, uh, Jesus. Uh, he's our rock. He's our anchor point. Uh, without him, nothing will be possible. Through him, all things possible. So may God bless you richly, be with you, and thank you all for making this channel one of your favorite channels. We'll see you here next week on Week in Review.